I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna be doing my hair and I have to tell you guys um, So about four days ago before we went camping I actually did a treatment with my hair which is called hair Botox or keratin treatment I remember I told you guys a couple videos ago that my hair is always frizzy Well, I was able to do a keratin treatment on my hair So today's actually the first time since I've washed my hair since I got it done And we're gonna be seeing what it looks like We're doing all of this number one because I washed my hair but number two because in today's video, we're going to Noche de Pendejas. If you don't know, Noche de Pendejas is like a night show, night, like late night show hosted by Alan Ice. I think he started as a beauty YouTuber, but now he has this like podcast like video like show in which he interviews different youtubers on different topics all your favorite youtubers have been there honestly i am humbled and so grateful to even be invited that's what we're doing today i have to get ready i had to wash my hair and my hair takes forever but i was like i'm not gonna go with my hair all greasy and stuff so first thing i'm gonna do is do my hair so let's cue the montage one hour to go and my uber eats just got here i ordered panera because it's like the easiest thing and when i don't have time to make breakfast actually when i don't have time to make food which oftentimes is never because it's just not a passion of mine i just order stuff so i ended up getting an almond vanilla cold brew um i've never tried it before it's just rico and then my dad is actually here with me right now, which is why you see the blankets on the couch. And I order us both breakfast. I got my dad the egg and bacon sandwich from Panera. And I got myself um, an egg white. Well, this does not look very promising. I got myself an egg white sandwich as well. We have exactly an hour before we have to go. So I have to eat breakfast, do my makeup and go let's try this panera coffee a ver a que sabe. normally i would drink my espresso but i ran out of my double espresso shots so this is not looking very promising mm. that's really good i'm actually surprised especially because with the replacement milks you never really know if it's going to be good or not but it is good, so voy a desayunar. Me voy a comer mi sanduichito para estar bien nutrida. We're on our way. Oh my God, you guys, I have to show you my outfit later on. Uh, first of all, duh, I'm wearing a Black Jewel Ariel earrings, which are currently sold out, but I'm also wearing Vienna necklace from a Black Jewel, which is not sold out, so I will link it for you down below, but you can also go to applacajewel.com to get it. I'm also wearing my quote-unquote designer bag from a Black Jewel, but anyway, let me tell you, we're on our way now. I had to go drop off my dad at my sister's house, which is why I couldn't really vlog because we were kind of, we're not running really late, but if there's one thing about me i hate being late i hate being late especially when it comes to these type of things or meetings or you know events if you will like if we have a meeting at 12 o'clock i'm gonna do everything in my power to be on time number one because i respect your time i respect your energy and i respect your word being late to me makes me feel like i'm stepping out of my word like if i said i'm gonna be there at 12 i'm gonna be there at 12. so i rushed over to drop off my dad and then now we're on our way to allen's and we should be getting there at 11 30 which is perfect because i need to retouch my makeup because for some reason every time i have anything important my makeup my eye wants to cry like why out of nowhere my eyes started crying i hate when that happens because when i don't have anything to do like when i don't have anywhere to go my my makeup is like perfect and then as soon as i have something important like today where i'm gonna be on somebody else's channel my eye is like you know what let's just cry and wring your makeup because be because we can i'm a little bit nervous because i feel like every other creator who has been on this is like a big timer and like honestly i feel like sometimes i have a little bit of like imposter syndrome because i'm like me you want to interview me i don't really know too well what we're talking about because alan has the questions beforehand and i think it's kind of like based on your content and you guys already know my content is number one lifestyle because i share my life 
but also a lot of my content on tiktok which by the way if you don't follow me uh, go follow me right now but a lot of my content on tiktok is about relationships and stuff and i feel like i never really openly talk about like my past relationships or i mean my current relationship i do talk about but yeah we'll see what he asked me i'm a little bit nervous why does that happen why do our eyes like act like They've never had makeup on. You know what though? This is my first time putting on makeup after camping. So maybe my face wasn't used to it anymore. But that's basically it. We did what we had to do. Look, this is what I look like now. I'm not going to tell Alan that we're here already because he's going to be like, girl, I'm barely probably doing my hair or something. Um, So we have 20 minutes to go. Mm, do we like the lip, the lip gloss look more? I think we do okay i'm gonna text them in about 15 minutes and yeah okay guys look at where i'm at hola, hola. hola. you guys la plática se está poniendo bien chingona para decirles que normalmente la gente siempre anda hable hable mierda de mi way can i cuss yes okay i'm like so used to cussing aquí me over here taking over her blog people are always talking about like oh you don't like your guys talk pero esta vez you guys you didn't let me talk which is amazing bitch me, me ganó ella debe ser la pinche alfitrona because she did so good you guys Yay. and this this episode is gonna be so good and I'm so excited for you guys when to watch it when is it coming it. out? it's coming out this week Ooh. so I pongas el pendiente you guys and I'll link it below she'll link it below but make sure you guys watch it because it's a good one and if you guys follow her you guys are gonna love it even more because I feel like you talk and open up a little bit more, more about stuff yeah. que normalmente a lo mejor no hablamos we definitely touched on things that I haven't touched on on my channel but I felt like it was my first night, like yeah. night show, you know, I was like, okay, we have to. You guys, you guys, también es el propósito de mi show. We make them talk a little yes. bit more than they do on their channel, so. Yay. It'll Mission be, accomplished. It'll be linked down below. Oh my God, you guys. So we just left Alan's house a little bit ago. We came to Costco because I have to do some grocery shopping, but I had so much fun and honestly went better than I thought. I was a little bit nervous because I was like, oh my God, like I know sometimes in Noche de Pendejadas, like it's a lot more like chisme vibes, if you will. But I feel like sometimes I kind of, sometimes I feel like as a content creator, I'm not really like funny. I'm more like, serious emotional vibes if you will so i was like oh my god i hope he doesn't mind that i'm like hella emotional and that i like open my heart up to share my experiences rather than being like more entertaining if you will because i feel like you guys already know that about me and you expect that from me but i feel like a lot of times people who don't know my content maybe they find it like I know she's always talking about her feelings. She's always talking about emotions. So definitely let me know what you guys think when you see it. It's this video is probably gonna come out after because I know he likes to hide his guests. That's kind of crazy that these are the opportunities that are opening up for me now. But I'm so grateful to God and I'm so grateful to be sharing this, you know, because I genuinely feel like it's my life mission, you guys. It genuinely is. So anyway, we're at Costco now. If you guys remember, we actually went camping this weekend and we literally have like no food, paper towels or anything at the house. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping. And then after that, we actually have to go back home and work on Apple like a jewel orders. This is gonna be like a two for one vlog of grocery shopping and no chip in the house. Mistake number one, I'm coming shopping when I'm hungry, which is a big no no, but I'm like, <laughs> I have to grocery shop anyway. And yeah, hopefully, I don't buy too many cochinadas. back home ya me cambié me puse shorts and a t-shirt from harbor i also had salad so i'm feeling nice and full but i want to show you what i got at costco today because number one i am costco's number one fan number two costco hit me up with that sponsorship number three um i know you like to see what i got what i get so Whew. Okay, first of all, I already showed you these deliciousness, which were these cupcakes. Honestly, 10 out of 10, they taste so good. They are sweet, so if you don't like sweets, then I would think twice about it. The other thing I got is right here, which I got bounty paper towels. They were actually on sale this week. So if you're looking for some, there they are. 
I got four lighters for $8.99, I believe was the price. So they come with four different like attachments and stuff. And the other day that my dad came over, you guys already know he smoked cigarettes. None of us like it, but he's been doing it since before I was born. So I got him some lighters and then I also got myself some lighters. I got some gloves. Um, now I read this hack where I saw it on TikTok, which supuestamente these gloves, like you're supposed to apply tanning lotion with gloves and it's for a better application. So we're gonna test it out. Ashwagandha, this is a supplement. Supuestamente te ayuda con el estrés. Y ahorita I want my breathe in, breathe out. Uh, nothing is stressing me. All things are beautiful in this world. Now, I haven't taken it, so I'm not recommending it, but it was also on sale, so I ended up getting it. And the other day when we went to Arizona, I saw that my cousins got like this kind of meat style from Costco. So, supuestamente, it's two packs of 20 ounce 20 ounces of meat so today i'm gonna make barbacoa with rice and vegetables for denny so we'll eat that tonight for dinner and tomorrow he'll take it for lunch so it was 20 bucks for these two packages and they have like all kinds of meat so make sure you check them out i think when when we went to my cousin's house we did carnitas with the carnitas si sí, y los, los usamos para lo this is also part of the and it was really good. Some Greek yogurt, which is healthy for your gut, and some caramel, caramel macchiato creamer for your coffee, which is probably not that healthy for your gut. I got some grapes because we all love grapes. And then I also got this container of four. They had two other different colors. They had dark gray and they had blue, but I ended up getting this basket bins because I wanna organize some stuff in my closet, which I feel like these are huge. And they were like eight, like 10 bucks for all four of them. So this was a really good deal if you're looking for a basket. I ended up getting some frozen edamame. You know when you go to the sushi spots and they serve you edamame before your meal and it's just like healthy popcorn. So I was like, I could probably recreate that at home with like, Valentina or tajin and make it taste real good. So we're gonna try this out and I also got some mochi Which this is dairy-free mochi. So we're gonna try it. It comes with mango strawberry and chocolate uh, I had never seen this at Costco before but I love mochi. So I was like, okay, let's try it And if you know me, you know, I love kombucha. So I ended up getting some kombucha. This is like a new brand that I guess Costco is carrying because they didn't have the one that they normally have so we're gonna open up one. We're gonna open one up right now. So this comes with three different flavors: Clear Mind, which I'm probably gonna have, Island Mango, and Super Berry. So let's have Clear Mind. I actually love kombucha because it looks so fancy with like the glass bottles that it comes with. This is really good. I like. Me va a ayudar que se me va a que el estómago porque ahorita no me dio panzoncita because of the food I ate. That's basically it. That's all the things I got at Costco. Huh. I felt like I had gotten more. But anyway, I'm gonna put everything away. Then we have to start working on a palaca jewel to get all the orders out. So, vamanos. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to day two of this vlog. I wanted to show you what I've been working on because I'm so proud of myself. I fulfilled all of these a palaca jewel orders. If you don't know, if you're new here, I have a jewelry store jewelry store called Apodaca Jewel. Well, it's more accessories because we also have some sunglasses, some purses and stuff, but it's mainly jewelry. And I wanted to thank everybody who put in an order and who continues to show so much love to Apodaca Jewel. I'm gonna put the link right here if you wanna go shop because there's still some items left just in case you wanna get something. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my AJ girls for continuing to love and support. And with that, let's go drop these off at the post office. We have officially reached the end of the vlog and Oh my god, before I go, I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about like post-show anxiety. As you guys know, yesterday I did no trip in the house with Alan and it was so fun. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. Shout out to him for extending the invite to me. And you guys, I've been receiving nothing but positivity on social media. Like everybody's so excited to watch the episode. If it's already out by the time that this video is out, I'm going to link it down below. If not, check down below anyway because I will link it later on. But I'm just genuinely so happy and so grateful to God for these opportunities and to be able to share my life experiences with you guys. You know, like sometimes it's weird because I think everybody's life experience is so different. And sometimes I feel like people come to me for certain advice because they feel like they see me as an older sister or they want somebody to tell them the truth, like how things are 
or maybe they just want some, somebody outside of their family to give them advice on something, right? And so I'm very grateful to all of you guys for continuing to look for me, for support, for advice, and I'm very grateful to God because he has given me the experiences that have led me to be able to speak this way and to be able to share whatever little wisdom I have with you guys. And more than anything, I'm very, very, very grateful that overall, the overall consensus is that my platform is used in a positive way to help women, to uplift you guys, and to make sure that you feel adequate, confident, and full of self-love. Because when I started social media, my goal has always been to uplift you guys and to make you believe that you can get anything you want in this world. When you see me, when you see my life, and when you hear me speak, whether it's on my blogs, or on my TikTok, or when I am invited to other people's podcasts, I am very grateful that that's what comes through the camera, and I'm very grateful that that's what shows through. So. Thank you so much for continuing to support me this whole time and even up until now it's been four years since i've been on youtube and sometimes time flies and sometimes i can't even believe how fast it's gone by like it genuinely feels like i just started this year but new opportunities continue to open up and new opportunities continue to be present and i'm very 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 grateful to god for that so with that being said I'm gonna let you guys go. Las quiero mucho, mucho, mucho. Que Dios me las bendiga. Quierte mucho. Respetate más forever, ever, ever, ever. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.